my name is Kristen Sierra Washington. I am newly elected councilwoman for District 3 in Greenville, Texas. The first African-American and African-American female to win a predominantly white community. Now, Kristen, you're an amazing person, an amazing woman, mom of two amazing boys. Thank you. And you are a 34-year-old black woman in Greenville, Texas. And you said, I'm gonna run for city council. What prompted you to run for Greenville City Council? Um, in Greenville, I did not see me anywhere. And when I say I didn't see me, I didn't see the young representation that can speak from my experience, my point of view, with, especially with everything that's happening in the world. Um, when you think of Greenville, you don't think of black leaders. You don't think of not even a black woman being in a position to make change in Greenville. Because again, when you hear the name Greenville, Texas, the first thought is black is land, white is people. So it's all about white people, it's racist, don't go there. But now I want to change the narrative of when you hear Greenville, you hear, oh, Kristen Sierra Washington, she done something. She did what most would never dare to do. And that's not just run for city council in the black neighborhood, I ran for city council and won in a predominantly white neighborhood. How was the campaign trail in Greenville and what type of adversity did you face? Uh, adversity first. My biggest, biggest downfall, um, hurdle, COVID-19, that was it. Um, and you would be like, what? Just, that was it. Am I a, the adversity that I faced was I can't speak to people face to face. I can't go up to you and hug you and introduce myself and tell you why I'm running because of COVID-19. The campaign trail was actually um, easy and fun. I didn't do things the traditional way. I didn't sit down with a table of my team and we talk about what I'm gonna do. We strategize how we're gonna go door to door. No, I sat down with my parents, my siblings, my best friend Jamie and I said, I'm running for city council and this is what I'm doing. And they they told me, we got your back. That's great that so you have your family foundation as a rock that yes. you can lean on. And you went about it in an unconventional way. And it sucks that we are in the middle of a pandemic and a lot of people have been sick and lost their lives because of it. But you didn't let that deter you. Was it hard getting people to get behind you at first? If so, why? Um, no. Uh, and I say that with pride because I'm known anyways in Greenville for church. So people know me on the church front of, oh, she's over the media ministry, or I see her making videos, or I see her posting on Facebook encouraging people. So people know me from that aspect. But people also know me from, I'm an Eastern star. So we do charity work in Dallas. And I'm a member of Zeta Mikai, which is a form of Zeta Phi Beta. And we do community service and we do things in the community. So people know me from that foundation. So they remember me from that. But I wanted to make sure that everything that I was doing in Dallas and everywhere else outside of Greenville, I brought all that back to Greenville and I did it in my hometown. Did you have a mentor to lean on during the campaign? Uh, yes, I did. I had my dad, my mom, I had my great grandmother who, when I wanted to quit, when I kept telling myself, girl, you can't do this. They constantly told me, yes, you can. This is why you can. And my biggest motivation and my biggest mentor were my boys. Um, I constantly kept seeing the deaths of, of people happening and I kept thinking if if I don't speak up and step out as a mother and as a minister, then nobody would ever know what we tried to do here in Greenville, especially with everything that's been happening in and around Greenville. So I use that and I use them as my motivation to keep going because I always tell people when you see me or when I die, don't take that time when I'm dead at my funeral to say, oh, I love Kristen. She has so many great ideas. I want you to tell me why I'm alive so at my funeral you can actually celebrate what I've done, what I've tried to change, what I've tried to make an impact on. So I try to make an impactful imprint on things I do every day. 
Hey, if you want to hear more from Auto Nation, please make sure that you like, subscribe to the channel. But don't just stop there. When you see the little bell notification, make sure you click on that and you will receive all the notifications whenever they post anything, whether it's a video, a conversation, something fun. You want to make sure that you have the notifications turned on for this channel because it's something you don't want to miss.